Hey guys, Evan here, and today we are back in the Crown Tundra after it's feels like it's been a while. It's been like about a month. Like last month, we, I set aside this to do uh, 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 the Harrow Warriors game for like Zelda month, but today uh, I am hoping to finish like kind of like the main story of this uh, of the Crown Tundra, but we'll probably not be able to do it in this episode, but probably next episode. So. What I'm trying to do, so we're trying to find the legendary Pokemon Calyrex, and I think to do that we need to look at this statue first. It's a statue of Pokemon, but somehow it feels that it's, it's missing something. Okay, so look into the King of Bountiful Heart. Okay, so there's this thing right here. Maybe I'm supposed to look at it? Hey Chief, my pillow's caught your eye, eh? That's a rock. Your pillow? Oi, listen here, Chief. I've got some wisdom t to impart. If if you can put your head on it and, and have a kip, it's a pillow. Unfortunately, I, I went and left my favorite pillow back at home. So I went uh, to have a look around the town for something to rest my head on. I found this out back behind the inn. Can I have it? C come off it. You, you want me to hand over my ultra mega comfy pillow? That's a rock, man. Like, <laughs> I don't know how, know how comfy that would be. It's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief. Might be tied to Calyrex. Hmm, what's that? Do you think my pillows have something to do with the le a legendary Pokemon? Yeah, I do. Uh, God, Ultra Mega, seriously. This is, this is gonna, just some old thing I found. But if you really want it, Chief, who am I to refuse? Alright, alright, go on, then have it. But you better make sure you, you track that legend down. Oh, I will. You obtained wood. Oh, it's wood. I, did, I thought it was stone. But, yeah, wood's not really that soft either. A mysterious item made of wood. Part of it seems to be chipped. Maybe it meant to be part of something. So, I said this before. I think it was in the last uh, Crown Hunter episode. Uh, that the head was supposed to maybe go go here. Statue of Pokemon. But I think I'm missing something. It looks like the wooden count... Crown will fit onto the statue here. Do you want to try fitting it on? Yes. Russell, Russell. Schwunk. Whoa. The wooden crown fit perfectly onto the statue. Crown. I wonder how I got it on there. Maybe some like super glue or something. Or, like wood glue. There it is. Calyrex. Does it want you to follow it? Maybe. Probably. I'm gonna go follow it. Hello there. That little, that triangle on the, like, the necklace kind of looks like the Triforce from Legend of Zelda. Krakron. It seems as if the mysterious Pokemon wants to test your strength. Do you want to ready a Pokeball? Yeah. Crook. Crook. Rock crown. Rock crown. Do I just catch it? Question mark, question mark, question mark appeared. Go Hermes. The Pokemon that we caught in the last episode. Crow round. Question marks on nerve. Uh, I'm not sure if we can use any ball, po like Pokeball on it. Um, I don't. Uh, let, me, let me just try. You can't. It won't let its guard down. So do I have to fight it? So what? If, what I know from this Pokemon is that it's a Psychic and Grass type. So I'm gonna try and fight it with this Pokemon, but I, like Drill Pack, I think that would be uh, the best move to use. Use Psychic. Oh no. Please don't KO it. Ho oh. <laughs> Okay. Drill Pack. See how much it does. Dead. Okay. It's super effective. Critical hit. That's okay. That makes more sense. It fainted. Hopefully that was my only chance. Talk to the loot grew to level 78. Okay. Some level ups. That's good. Uh, crown round, crow, 
crow, brown, round crown. Did you have fun? Round, yeah, or crown, no, I don't know. The crown. The crown, the crown, the crown, 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 crown. <laughs> oi, oi, what's up? I heard a big ruckus coming over from here. What's this now, Chief? Where are you, where are you having a Pokemon battle? Huh? What a massive noggin. Hmm. Um, crown. Crown. It sounds weird. Uh, what's this? Yeah. Hmm. What the heck is happening? Uh, Peony is evolving. <laughs> what? Hmm. Ah, yes, a sturdy body, just as I expected. Oh, this, he doesn't mind that I make use of it for this, I mean. Oh, he is a psychic type, so I guess he can use his body to talk to me? Yes, yeah, this peony question mark, like, I was like, what, is that peony? Ah, yeah, I guess so. Uh, are you the Pokemon? Oh, I see a grass situation already. Very astute of you. Well, thank you. <laughs> I am Calyrex. I am the, the one known... Uh, as the king of Bountiful Harvest. I have borrowed this man's body in order to thank you in person, so to speak. Indeed, there are no words to adequately express my gratitude toward you for restoring my statue. In days long past, I reigned over these lands as king. The humans offered me their loyalty and respect as I was able to bring lush vegetation to the land and give them plentiful harvests year after year. However, it seemed that over many, many years, the people of this land have forgotten my existence. They used to make offerings to me every year, but even that tradition has long since been lost to the ravages of time. You see, it is the faith of the people that grants me strength, and now I have lost all but a fraction of my former power. Even my loyal steed has abandoned me. However, you were kind enough to restore my statue. That act I, has returned some strength to me, at, at least enough to speak to you by borrowing the body of another. Now, kind-hearted human child, I have a favor to ask of you. Yes? I must know once and for all whether the people have truly forgotten about me. Not this town. I wish you to speak to the villagers and ask if they remember the King of Bountiful Harvest. I have tried asking them myself, you understand, but they treated me like some sort of fairy tale creature or flew, or flew into a mild panic at the sight of me. Please, kind-hearted human, I beg of you to help me. Uh, Alright, the callus has appeared. That you, callus, apparently you speak, can apparently speak to him by taking over a person's body, peonies in this case. Now, if I need to gather more information on the king of the Battle Forest from the people of the village. Okay. Okay, so I guess I just talk to people uh, around the, around the village. He's like, hey, uh, mayor, uh, know the king buffalo harvest well do you believe in him do you want uh, no uh, no uh, okay never mind king of bountiful harvest i used to believe it was really you no know, i was told that if i made mischief in the field the king would steal my body away jeez <laughs> the pokemon king oh sure my grand used to tell me stories about it all the time when i was a kid an old fairy tale that well, I gl well, I'm glad that's- I'm glad to see people still believe in it. <laughs> Alright, the King of Elfo Harvest. Well, if it exists, why doesn't it heal the land around here so we can grow crops for a change? That's a good point. Calyrex, why don't you do that? Alright, girl, uh, lady with this feel. I'm s oh dear, I'm sorry, I'm rather busy doing nothing right now. I- uh, mm, okay. Uh... Let's go back to Calyrex, that apparently nobody can see. How's Peony doing? Keeping me in the air and glowing. Okay. Very astute. I would like you to ask people if they remember the King of the Harvest. I already did. Uh, should I ask more people? I don't... Are there people up here? Oh, there's somebody up here. I think... Oh, this is the mayor. Hello, Mayor. I do. Do I remember the King of Harvest? Well, certainly I do. It's the only main tourist attraction of our lovely freaking town, after all. Ma I imagine we would see more visitors if only the king were real. 
You've asked the people for freaking time about the King of Bountiful Harvest. Time to report back to Calyrex. Okay. To be honest, all they'd have to do is look over there, look at the statue, and say, Hey, that might be the that might be the King of Bountiful Harvest. Wow, it actually does exist. Ah, human ch human child, I trust you were able to speak to the villagers. So how was it? Did they say anything about me? They did, but hmm, as I is I expected, nobody truly believes that I am real. It seems the people of this land have indeed forgotten the bond they once shared with me. Hmm. Oh no, I, of course I'm not grieving. I'm the king of both bountiful har harvests, after all. I know better not to count on humans to remember me. This proves beyond doubt that I cannot simply rely on human faith if I want my powers to return. If only my loyal seed were, were to return to me, I would regain something of what I've lost. Your loyal steed? Yes, the four-legged Pokemon that I used to ride all across the land. The very same Pokemon that my statue in the village shows me riding. Alas, though, my, though in ancient times we spent many days together, dashing through the valleys and over the mountains of this land, my power waned and I was forced to part ways with it, and now I, I know not where it might, may be. Even if we should succeed in locating my loyal seed, I have my doubts as to whether it has remained. Well... Loyal. <laughs> I have mu lost so much power. Perhaps the villagers know that something about my currently not so loyal steed. <laughs> it, I would be in your debt if you could speak to the head of the village on my behalf. If you're able to find any information at all, I ask that you let me know. Okay. <gasps> well, gah. Oh, chief, what a massive noggin. Or wait, it's, no, it's normal. I must have fallen asleep where I stood. Sorry about that, Chief. Still, I feel strange, like my, like my body is not quite my own. Guess I'll head back to the base and get some rest. Besides, it's freezing out, freezing out here. <sighs> Alright, I guess I'll talk to the mayor. Alright. The mayor is not home at the moment. He was here just like five seconds ago. He went to have a look at the giant's bed. If you can, go, you can go at, look for him if you're in a hurry. The village are in are to the southeast of the village through Frostpoint Field and just keep going to the left. Is that where the tree was that we went to in, in the last episode? All right. Uh, well, uh, I'll be back. At, uh, Oh, there he is. Alas, my field isn't. This field is no good either. This soil is barren. No crop could possibly grow here now. Perhaps the land of the Crown Dungeon truly are beyond, beyond hope. What's this? Oh, our dear visitor, what brings you here? Hmm, you want to learn about the loyalty of the King of Buffalo Harvest? Well, this is hardly the place for storytelling. Story Come to my home in Freezing Town. It's better to have a nice day. Oh, sorry. Please visit whenever you're ready. I'll be waiting. Or you could just take me there now. Uh, uh. If I didn't... If I didn't, like... Seriously, if I didn't... If I had to think if I wanted to go there, I would not have gone down here. Alright. So, she, he should, his house should be like right around the corner. Uh, yeah, right here. Hello. Whoops. Have you seen what's happened to the statue of the King of Buffalo Harvest? His head has become massive. Hmm, you say that's the way the king's head is supposed to look? Now you mentioned it doesn't resemble the design of our town souvenir shirts. But you speak as if you've seen the king with your own two eyes. This has actually been broken since I was a child. Oh, of course you wanted to learn about the loyal state of the king of the bountiful harvest. Well, I know, I don't know why you'd be interested in such things, but come then, follow me. An old book I read long ago said the king loyal seed was particularly fond of a certain special vegetable. But my memory isn't what it used to be. I can't recall what exactly the seed is so desired. I think it's best that you search for on the bookshelf over there you want to find out anymore. Can you do it for me? 
Alright, I'll find the book of content to read. Uh, King's Palestine. The horse Pokemon gave, gave orders five to serve the king and carry it hither and thither. Hither and thither. The two even became one one for a time, combining their strength to create a forest at a single night. This palisade had become a wild thing once, ravaging the wild village, causing Kaiser much woe. But the king, in all, his, in all his greatness, brought this fierce creature to heal and secure his loyalty. And for each among us who claimed to see tide was was black as, as the midnight gloom in which the ghosts appear. There is the, another who claims it was white as the block of solid ice. Yeah, I think there was like two forms of the horse. Like it's a ghost. It can be a ghost type or an ice type. None alive can now say which is the truth. Would you like the checking of the books? Yeah. Range of Unity. Hardy Crops of the Tundra. Probably. Which car while, while carrots can be grown in the crown country, they have unusually, unusual growth habits. When grown beneath the heap, heap of snow, these hardy roots tend to develop into ice root carrots. When grown in, tr in tracks close to where many soil souls are laid to raise, shadow root carrots will be your crop. Shadow root carrots are a favorite treat for many. Ghost type Pokemon, while well, Ice type Pokemon, seem to delight in eating ice root carrots. This, according to fairy tales, the seed that the King of Hellful Harvest rode upon love both of these varieties, perhaps one of the, or, or the other. Record, records seem to contradict each other, while some stories speak of a white seed delighted ice root carrots, and other mention a black seed devouring the shadow root carrots, shade root carrots. No, I'm done reading. So, yeah, there is, I think there is, so there's, so it seems like there's gonna be like, a ghost type variant of the horse and a ice type. I want the ghost type because I don't have one, and I have an ice type in my Lapras, so I'm gonna ask where the like the shade root carrots are gonna be. If you want to learn about, the, uh, guess I have to learn more about the books. So, um, I think all I need to do is like get the carrot seeds and uh, somehow uh, like make it into like the shade root carrots. I like plant it and get the shade root carrots. Hello, Calyrex. What are you doing? How's it going? I was like, okay. Uh, for carrot seeds? Uh, yeah. A piece of diet. Here are the seeds I have. Bag of carrot seeds. Seeds to plant in a field, the kind of carrots you get in this determine which field to plant seeds in. Don't complain to the seeds I gave you and willy nilly of the village's fields now. These fields are, are for our own crops. Okay. Guess I have to find, uh, like, something about dead people and souls to get the shade root carrots that I want. Crow, 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 crow. Crow. Hmm. Oh, hey there, Chief. I have a feeling something coming. Was it you? Huh? <laughs> she just uses a puppet. Human child, were you able to find something about my loyal steed? Yes. You say you found something, about, something that my loyal steed could not resist. It isn't so long since we broke together that I've completely forgotten. But this huge, with that huge brain, I don't think so. With this information, we might we may be able to lure my loyal steed to me yet. So tell me, what is it that my loyalty would like to find? Uh, carrots. Oh, carrots, you say? <laughs> yes, I remember now. Even back when we were together, I would leap at any, it would leap at any, some, type of, some kind of crop. I took everything I had to restrain it. Looking back, the crop must have been carrots. I am your debt, human child. What we now, what we must do now is clear. We are able to find carrots somewhere. It should be but a trifle. To learn my loyalty back to me. I wonder, do humans have to grow any carrots? I could be converting to obtain a single seed. I could grow a carrot for myself. Yeah. By the stars! You say you have carrot seeds? That strange bag contains the seeds of carrots? Wow! <laughs> you humans never stop adapting and evolving. I'm constantly amazed by your ingenuity. Is that a compliment or a diss? <laughs> yet, and yet, hmm. The fields of this village simply won't do. You're not suited for growing carrots. If we find rich soil, I could use my powers to grow the crops we need. Now, there might we might find soil suited for growing these crops in the tundra of mine. Hmm. There? I see two spots are, are suit my needs. One is a field 
covered in pristine snow. Another spot is a field by gravestones where those who moved on there laid to rest. To the to the graveyard. Either of those locations should allow me to use my powers in the Please, I ask which of the field and plant those seeds. And plant those seeds. Ah, what in the? I'm seeing have a falling asleep outside. Uh, I guess it's just going to show that holding down the fort isn't all that easy. You take good care of your sh yourself, Chief. Don't overdo it. Mark, you mark the two fields Kyleric sold you about on your town map. Alright, let me do that. Include one. Alright. Alright, guys. I think that'll be the end of this episode. Sorry it wasn't that, it wasn't that exciting. But, uh... But, uh, yeah, but next time we'll plant the carrots and get the steed and hopefully finally get Calyrex and his steed. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!